and we're going to go into um, the sun path thing in greater detail later. Right now, I just want to show you a couple of things that you guys can do um, with Ladybug and why it is that you might want to use it for your Design 4 Studio projects. I'm going to drop in um, the Ladybug's, Ladybug Sun Path diagram. Okay, and you can tell that the diagrams, or not the diagrams, but the components in Ladybug are huge, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the output, or I'm going to connect the location to the location. So location to location. And in a moment, right, you guys are going to notice that in my grasshopper, and I mean in my rhino screen, I now have something that should look familiar to you guys. Do you guys recognize that? Yes. You guys recognize it, right? Yes. Isn't that the the, uh, the little sun path diagram that you guys used to do for, for Hero? Yeah. What? It's, it's similar to the one on Sun Earth Tools. Um, here's like one of the things that might be different than the one on Sun Earth Tools. So right here is my, my reference plane, correct? So let's just say that I take and I drop in, I don't know, um, a 30 by 30 cube and I make it 30 feet tall. Right? You guys remember that one from Design 1? Your cube? So there it is. There's my, there's my Design 1 cube. Right? Now, here's the thing that you're not seeing, and this is the part that was sort of frustrating when you guys work on these things. You're not really clear on what it is that it's doing, okay? But if you go to the perspective window and you zoom out, you're going to see that you now have your Rhino model sitting at the center of the geometry for which you can pick any day of the year, any time of the year, any time of day of the year, and it will put the sun, that little yellow ball, in the right place in relationship to your object. So you can stand down in your object and look up at the sky. And you'll get an idea of like where the sun might be at different times of the year. Okay? So the important thing about that is that you guys are going to be able to understand that the sun rises. There's east, right? The sun rises in the summertime way, way north of east. Okay? So you can tell that, the, that if we look at it from this perspective right here, let me put it in shaded mode, right? That sunrise is actually shining on the north face of the building. And that if I, if I continue to run along here, that I continue to look at my building from what the sun would look at until I get to about solar noon, which is about right there. Okay? So with that, you'll be able to pretty much in three dimensions take a look at the solar angles in relationship to your building. Now I want you guys to understand one thing about this. Okay? The key thing that I want you to understand about this is that the sun is not this far away from my building, right? The sun is, we already talked, we talked about the model, basketball at this end of the corridor, a BB at the other end of the corridor, and that's the accurate model. So you got to be a little bit careful about the rays hitting this, but you can make this much larger than it's currently shown. You can calculate the vectors or draw a line from the center point of the sun to 0, 0, 0, and that'll get you pretty close to what the sun's rays are going to be if you make this much larger. You'll be able to tell immediately if the light's going to come into which window. All right? You can't change the azimuth on the or elevation? The elevation? Yeah, you, you can pick any day of the year. This is, this is December 22nd or 21st at solar noon. So that's the lowest that the sun will go on the horizon. And you, so you don't, you don't tell it azimuth and altitude. You tell it what day, and it'll put the azimuth and altitude onto here. This, this 
circle that you see here, I'll spin it around this way, this is azimuth, right? Altitude is what you see from this horizon line up to that angle. So if we were to look at this, for example, in the right-hand view, right, and I were to draw a line, From about where the origin is, I'm going to shut off my O snaps. And turn off my ortho. And I were to draw a line up through the sun like that, I'm willing to bet that that angle right there is about 32 degrees. That's the altitude of the sun in, on December 22nd. And what you're saying is that... Let me, let me grab this call. So Anthony's asking the question is, this is not accurate? No, it's not. Because that distance from the Earth to the Sun, right, is, is, is huge. But yet, this thing is shown at 644 feet. So you could take this thing and make it much larger, but at some point it becomes impractical. This is simply a visualization tool to help you guys understand solar geometry and talk about solar geometry with somebody else that may not be aware right of what solar geometry looks like the fact that you can move around and look at it is one of the things that makes it sort of useful okay all right so, um, so since it's incorrect from like how far it is can we still use it like say if we want to show in a presentation can we still use that or you can use it as long as you're not trying to get it down to the decimal point. So, like, for example, if I was to use this in relationship to, um, to say, design two, right, or, de or this, even design four. Let's say I had my model here, and I had a very short overhang on that building. So I zoom in here, and I got an overhang that's about this long. You could look at it. You could say, yeah, the sun's going to definitely go through those windows at solar noon and winter. Right? I mean, you're, you're looking at it right there. You can, you're, you're literally looking at the sun vector hitting that thing. So, but it's only a visualization tool. It's, it's not an accurate ray tracing tool. But if you were trying to tell somebody, if you were trying to prove somebody, hey, look, this is my building and there's where the sun is, they're going to be able to look at it and say, oh, okay. I got it. That it, yeah, it's definitely you're you're allowing solar penetration on December twenty second. There also you could set it for summer and you could show how your eaves are blocking it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, note that it it always comes in right with north by default facing in the direction of the green line in Rhino which is the way that, that Rhino's sun is set up. Okay? All right, any questions about that? No? All right, I'm going to stop this one.